Hello class, this is section 7.5, and in this video we are going to discuss the self adjointness of the Laplacian. And we have the Helmholtz equation over here, and remember that we always include these boundary conditions, beta 1 f plus beta 2, the gradient of f dot with the normal vector is equal to 0 for any points x, y on the boundary. So recall that we had this Green's formula, and it says that the double integral of u Laplacian of v minus v Laplacian of u dx dy is equal to this boundary integral. So for the Laplacian to be self-adjoint, we need the left-hand side to be zero. So remember, for our self-adjointness of the Laplacian, the multiplication we're considering includes a double integral on the region R. But clearly, the left-hand side being zero is the same thing as the right-hand side being zero. And that's actually easier to show. So remember that u and v have to satisfy these boundary conditions. So we have the gradient of u dotted with n, the normal vector, is equal to beta 1 over beta 2 over u x y. We are going to assume here that beta 2 is never 0. But the proof isn't actually difficult if beta 2 is 0. It's different, but um, for simplicity's sake, let's just make this assumption. And this is also true for v. We're just replacing u and v, since v must also satisfy the same boundary condition. And then, plugging this in to the right-hand side of the Green's formula, we have that the curve integral of u um, this should be an n here, sorry. Dotted with n somehow disappeared. That u gradient of v dotted with n is just going to be beta 1 over beta 2 v minus v gradient of u dotted with n is just going to be beta 1 over beta 2 u ds. But clearly, um, u beta 1 beta 2 v is the same as v beta 1 beta 2 u. So this is just equal to 0. And this implies that, indeed, Laplacian u squared is self-adjoint. Since we've shown that the right-hand side of the Green's formula is equal to 0. Uh, 